To add smooth animations to all of the buttons in your game, first, add a script to the button you want to have the animations. Keep in mind that you'll need to add this script to all of the buttons in your game that you want to have the smooth animations. Inside, we'll add two export variables, of a scale and press scale. We make these export to allow for potential customization between different buttons. We establish three custom functions. Button enter and button exit will handle the hover and de-hover animations, and button pressed will handle the animation for pressing the button. To ensure that these functions run, inside the built-in ready function, we connect the mouse entered and mouse exited signals to the button enter and button exit functions appropriately. Then we connect the press signal, the button pressed function. We connect these signals through code to save the hassle of having to connect them by hand on every single button we add this script to. Additionally, we call deferred a custom function called init pivot. That way we can set the pivot offset to half of the button size. Setting the pivot offset will make sure that the middle of the button is appropriately assigned for changing the scale. And we use a call deferred so that the pivot offset change happens at the end of the frame. As otherwise, if the button is inside of a container, then the container may override the pivot offset after we set it. And call deferred will make sure that this function that we call runs at the end of the frame. Inside of the button enter and button exit functions, we create a tween, then call the tween property and add the button, the scale property, of a scale, or the default vector 2 with a scale of 1 by 1, then the total time, which for me is 0.1 seconds. We also change the transition to sign to make the hover smoother. Inside of the button pressed function, we create a temporary variable that holds the tween. We must do this as we will be calling two tween property functions at the same time. We do the same thing as before, instead grabbing button press tween instead of create tween, and passing either press scale or hover scale, with the first time being half of the second. The reason why we grab hover scale is because we assume that the player pressing the button is likely still hovering it. Don't worry though, as the button exit function will override this when the player's mouse leaves the button. Now inside of your game, if the button is jittery and not smooth when doing these animations, to fix this, go to project, project settings, inside of filter settings, search for snap controls to pixels, then go to common and disable it. Now you have a script to add smooth animations to any buttons that you add it to. And don't forget that you can check out the project files, link in the description.